Yeah, thanks, Clever. Uh, hi, everybody. Thanks for joining. I know your time is valuable, so we do appreciate it. Um, I'm Roland Hamilton, Technical Sales Optima. Uh, your account rep, Todd Moffitt, is also on the line. If there's any um, account or sales related questions, I'm more of a technical product guy. Uh, and we're here to talk about the Creative Touch interactive panels from Optima. Um, just want to remind you here, I'm going to go ahead and spotlight my video so it should go in full screen. Um, Optima is the, the number one DLP projector supplier worldwide, as well as the number one 4K UHD projector brand worldwide. Uh, and since 2000, Optima has been known for uh, making mainstream data projectors, home theater projectors, DLP projection has been the core of our business for many years. Uh, and when we first launched these interactive panels in mid-2018, that was our first departure uh, into a technology other than just projection. Uh, and we, since in 2019, launched uh, a couple uh, or the first of what are now a few direct view LED products. So in the last three, four years, Optima has expanded from being just a projector manufacturer into a true large uh, image solutions provider. Um, I would also mention uh, that even though Optima is not necessarily a household name like some of our competitors, we have been innovating and leading in the in the space. Um, you know, since our inception in 2000, um, we had the we produced the world's largest rear projection TV in 2006. That was an industry first. Uh, I don't know if you remember rear projection TVs. They were basically a projector inside a plastic box with a rear view screen, um, DLP television. Um, we had the world's largest. Optima also launched the world's first 1080p home theater projector. Uh, we were very early in the Pico projector, like the, the tiny projectors. And we were um, been leading in that market since its inception. Uh, and we also launched, we were very successful with our 4K line. Uh, we launched our first 4K UHD projector in 2017, and um, you know we've been we've been innovating and leading. Um, so even if some of your customers have never heard of Optima, we have been around for you know more than 20 years at this point, um, and we're we're an industry leader. So to the panels that we came to talk about today, like I said, we we first launched these in 2018, and we've been through a few iterations. So we've gone through several rounds of improvements on hardware, software, et cetera. So these are not the first version. This is not a new category for us. Creative touch panels have been around for a while now. Uh, and they're available in three sizes, 65, 75, and 86 inch diagonal. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about the, the hardware itself, uh, all three of them, all three sizes are 4K UHD resolution. So 3840 by 2160 resolution. Uh, they all have 16 watt stereo speakers built in so you know more than enough sound for a classroom or you know typical 20 by 30 meeting space once you get into a space where you have you know a divider you're probably going to need a supporting sound system but uh, more than enough sound built in for your classroom uh, conference room etc there's a whole plethora of inputs and outputs including audio out to connect to a supporting sound system but basically three hdmi inputs uh, a VGA input, um, audio outputs, and an HDMI out I have in my system here. Uh, you know, I'm feeding this into some live production software, but I'm able to capture the HDMI output, which is very handy for not only doing webcasting, you know, or recording for distance learning, that sort of thing, but also in live event. Um, you know, think uh, like Keynote. You could have the, the presenter on stage with a panel, but also blow it up for a bigger supporting image. So the HDMI out is very handy. Uh, the panels themselves, real quick, are, are, are extremely durable. Uh, this is 7H hardness rated anti-glare, anti-fingerprint tempered glass. The product is all metal. The only, ca the, the only plastic on the outside um, is the, like the Wi-Fi antenna and the buttons on the front. And the glass, the glass is, is really scratch resistant. I'm not afraid to take my door key and go ahead and scratch this. And you can see I'm putting the marks on the screen. I'm not just holding the key near the panel. I'm putting it on there. But um, yeah, very difficult to scratch these panels. They're super durable. And they're excellent IR touchscreens. Um, they're, they're extremely accurate and fast, responsive all the way around. 
there's no points on the screen that lag. There are no points on the screen, um, you know, where there's any delay at all. Um, and because these are IR touchscreens, you can use the included stylus. Uh, it comes with two. They, they magnet to the front here. You can use your finger or, you know, you can realistically use anything. Like if you had a, a, like a marker with a cap on it, you could write on the screen with that just as easily. Uh, let's talk about what these panels do, how, how we can use them. So out of the box, these are basically a, a giant Android tablet. If you give the panels power and internet, you can do a whole plethora of stuff that you'd kind of expect to be able to do with an Android tablet. Uh, there's a built-in web browser. There's the, the built-in office suite. You can view and edit and create PowerPoint documents, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, view and edit PDFs, etc. cetera. Um, one thing that everybody always asks about is our digital whiteboard. We have an unlimited canvas digital whiteboard where we can go in and uh, change the pen colors. As you can see, the, the palette tool here. But you can also change the backgrounds. So if you want to have a different background, like I kind of like the off-white backgrounds that take it a little easier on the eyes. But if you want a specific color, like you want that green chalkboard look or what have you, you can change uh, the background colors. They have a whole plethora of 2D and 3D shape tools built in, so you can add 3D shapes and then just go back to your pen tool and, and start writing. Um, the, the pens are dual-sided, so there's a thin side and a fat side to the pen. The fat side can be programmed to act like your highlighter, where the thin side will act like your pen. Um, this functionality of recognizing the dual sides of the pen also works when connected to a PC. We'll kind of get to that in a, in a couple minutes. Um, but just for now, keep in mind that the dual-sided pen lets the pen perform different functions depending on which side of it you're using to write. But back to the digital whiteboard, you can also import all kinds of documents into here. So if I want to import a picture, I saved a couple pictures earlier in the downloads folder here. I can bring in a picture of the construction site. Uh, what I wanted to do was move this and resize it and then make markup on it. So it's very easy to utilize the, the digital whiteboard space to, you know, whether it's corporate use, education use. Um, you can also load PDFs directly into here, which is great for the education environment. Teachers can use PowerPoint or um, you know, build their templates and save it as a PDF and then load the PDF into the space and it will put each page of the PDF on its own page of the whiteboard program. So now we are on page four and I can add another page and now we're on page five and then I can jump back and forth between the pages that we've created. We've also built in, and, and there are many other programs. Uh, we could spend all day talking about just the stuff that's built in. Um, we have made available on our app store. So not most manufacturers do not support an app store. Basically, the, the programs that you get pre-installed or the programs that you get. Optima offers an app marketplace where you can download additional Android applications. Uh, and I want to highlight that all the major video teleconference apps are available. So Skype, Zoom, Teams, WebEx, and GoTo. Um, you can use a camera. Uh, I have connected a USB camera. It's kind of a, it's a USB microscope, really. It's sitting over here um, looking at a, a nickel. There's your typical Jefferson nickel under a USB microscope. Um, just another application that I wanted to highlight, uh, but it also highlights how you can you can use your typical you know Logitech web camera or whatever kind of web camera you prefer, sitting on top of the unit or elsewhere in the classroom or office, uh, and they do work in conjunction with all the popular video teleconference apps. I've also got Prime Video installed. It's one of my favorites. The built-in web browser works just fine. Uh, some of the applications. Uh, some of the other applications to highlight. So we've built in a whole plethora of sharing and collaboration tools into these units. Um, the first feature I want to show you is how 
is how uh, AirPlay is built in. So I'm taking my iPad here, and right now I'm AirPlaying from this iPad up to the board. You can't touch, the, the touch functionality doesn't feed back, but it's very easy to share from your mobile devices, whether it's uh, you know classroom, corporate environment, you can just take your, your iPhone, iPad, uh, and AirPlay natively to the panel. Keep in mind that you can share from more than one device at once. So this might be a little hard for me to juggle, but I could go over here to my iPhone, and there I am, I'm sharing from my iPhone and my iPad simultaneously. And this will actually break down into six-way split screen. Um, that I believe is an only for Optima. Uh, I don't know any of our competitors. Uh, many of our competitors you can wirelessly cast to the boards, uh, but from uh, a maximum of four devices usually. Um, ours will go up to six, where it'll, it'll split the screen into six equal um, portions where you can share your mobile device. Uh, Good if question you are, for you, Roland. Please. Uh, so, Pat here is just asking, is it only available for Apple products and not Android or Windows? And then I have a yeah. second one after. Yeah, well, uh, well what's the second question? Uh, it's, it's regarding NFC access. To, to, um, is there NFC access to the board as well? NFC, r remind me of uh, that acronym. Um, Mitchell, you That's can type in. Near, near field, near field. So it basically would be, you know, transferring the content. In that case, Roland, I think it would be, you know, using our tapcast. Yeah. So to answer the first question, and hopefully it answers the second question, I, I don't know of any specific near field technology, um, if that was what the question was in regard to. Um, the casting functions over the local network. Uh, and we offer our TapCast Pro app. So if you're not using an Apple device and you want to wirelessly share to the panel, let me just highlight this so you can see this. Uh, in fact, if you scan this QR code, it will take you to a website where you can download the client program that goes on the, the device you want to share from. Uh, and then, in fact, you'll notice that these codes here, what's in the middle of the screen and what's in the corner of the screen match, um, and you can use this program to wirelessly share from PC, Mac, Chromebook, Android tablets. Uh, and on the devices that are capable of it, the touch also feeds back over the wireless. So from a PC, for example, not only does it cast up to the board, but you can control the PC wirelessly from the touch board. Um, and there are a host of other functions for example, if I join it using TapCast from the iPad, so I can cast natively just using Air, AirPlay, but if I want, if I connect using the full TapCast app, I get additional functionality, 541060. So I'm connecting from my iPad here, and let's just go to desktop with markup. So I just want to show you And Pat is confirming that the uh, screen sharing that is in Apple is internet-based, correct? The, tap, the, the, the cast tap, function. TapCast function avail is available on both an Apple product as well as uh, for an Android-based uh, related product. And, and you need an internet connection to access it, right? Or You need a local connection. It'll work as yeah. long as there's a local network. Nothing necessarily has to have internet access, but you need a wireless local network or not even a wireless local network because uh, you could have a hardwired PC on the same network as your board, which could be hardwired. These feature, uh, there's an ethernet port as well as 802.11ac dual band Wi-Fi. But just wanted to highlight that not only can you share from your tablet up to the board, you can also control your, tab your board from your tablet. So for example, I'm gonna make some markup on screen. I'm marking up on screen using my using my iPad. You can also share the camera to and from. You can, you can share the camera from your iPad or iPhone or Chromebook or what have you up to the board. You can push files. There's a whole host of functionality. The other feature I wanted to show quickly, and how are we doing on time? We got some time left. The other feature I want to show, it's a collaboration feature. It's called AirShare. So if we go back, and I think it's easiest to just demonstrate this, and you'll see what it does. If I go back to my digital whiteboard, 
go back to my first page and let's open up the side toolbar here. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Forgive me. Open up my side toolbar and start an air share session. I'm going to take my iPhone, scan this QR code. It's going to prompt me to a web page. Let me just change the camera view so you can see a little more easily. Um, I'm going to input my name on the phone. If I can spell correctly. And so the teacher can initiate a quiz and poll the audience essentially. So if I draw a graph here that's one of these, uh, you know, a representation of one of these functions, right, roughly, uh, we can do a quiz and the teacher can say, okay, we're going to do a single choice quiz and begin, uh, you know, which one of these functions is this a graphical representation of? And from my seat, I can choose the answer is C. And you notice that as soon as I did that, hopefully it's not too small for you to see here, but right here it's showing that one of one person Roland has voted and over here it's showing the elapsed time oh, let me move my move my picture and picture so you can see the elapsed time ticking and so the teacher has an idea real time of what percentage of the class has voted or entered an answer and then we can choose to end the quiz or finish the quiz and it gives us a breakdown of who answered how I'm the only person here so it's kind of hard to to make more than one submission at a time but if you click on one of these columns, it tells you who's in the column. So the teacher can see who answered correctly. If we choose a right answer, it tells us that 100% of the class got the answer right. And if we press this explain function, it puts the stats back over the original. So if, for example, you know, a disproportionate number of students answered a particular wrong answer, the teacher can explain why A is not the right answer. So it's a wonderful tool to be able to easily run quizzes without having to collect papers. And, you know, it instantly grades the entire class and instantly lets you analyze what's going on with, uh, with the class. Some of the other features, you know, it's very difficult to go over everything these boards can do in a short amount of time. Uh, but just so we don't forget anything, just want to highlight uh, there is a, a built-in media player. We saw that when we logged on, I was playing the video with the birds. So you can plug your content. I've got the USB, um, forgive me, I've got my USB microscope plugged in over here, but there are side USB inputs. But you can plug a memory stick right into the panel and run a PowerPoint presentation, play movies, slideshows. So if you have guests come in, it's very easy to just use the, uh, the front USB inputs, for example. Um, wanted to highlight a couple other things quickly, and these are not the only highlights of the product, just the ones we probably have time for. Just want to point out that we have built-in Cloud Drive access. So Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, and Dropbox are built in. Not sure why that's... Got a couple questions for you, Roland. Yeah, please, go ahead. Okay, so uh, one was regarding um, the ability to project the screen to student Chromebooks. Um, so I did, you, she had missed that when you touched on the quiz aspect, but um, yes, you can you can mirror what's going on on screen onto the Chromebooks. Okay, absolutely. You just use the Tapcast Pro application, and when you when you run the application, it gives you instructions on screen, so it's very easy to use. When you run the app, it it gives you it tells you what to do. Number one, download the app. Two, make sure you're on the same network. Three, enter the PIN code, which is on screen. So it's, it's really easy to use as well. Um, One any more, other... I guess. The, the, what type of backend display management is available? Um, well, we offer, then... we offer, uh, we have a, a PC software called Optima Management Suite, which runs on a PC on the local network. Right now it's local only. We're working on a cloud version for the next, you know, down the road. Um, but it lets you manage all the devices, not just these panels, but Optima projectors, our direct view LED product as well, um, lets you group them into, you know, logical groups. So if you have first floor, second floor, or east wing, west wing, you can group them and then have them all turn on, all turn off, send alerts. You can do on-screen messaging, you know, like emergency evacuate or whatever you want to have display on screen. So we do have a, um, a centralized management system. That's free. By the way, all the software that comes with these is, is free to keep forever. There is no recurring charges. Um, we do roll out updates. 
um, usually about once every quarter. So maybe four updates a year, it updates over the, over the internet. When there's an available update, it prompts you, would you like to update? You can turn off that feature if you don't want to have your teacher see the option to update for some reason. Um, so very easy to, to manage these panels in that sense. Um, so, and we can keep the questions coming, but also just want to mention that there are, so we've built in cloud storage access. So there's 16 gigabytes of storage on the board. You can use network attached storage. You can use flash drives connected to the panel. You can, uh, yeah, so plenty of storage. The other thing I wanted to highlight is that there are there are some there there's a there's a handful of other built-in tools more than we can mention really but here's just an example of how we've got the the spotlight tool which lets you keep focus where you want it let me change my view again so that you can see a little better um, you got the spotlight tool that one's a little gimmicky but one that I do use all the time is the countdown timer like we're only going to talk about this topic for another five minutes. And that will minimize if you touch elsewhere and I can move it if I want to keep my timer, you know, front and center and visible. And when the timer runs out, there'll be bells ringing and all sorts of things. Um, just So everything we've shown you so far is what's built in. Just take the board out of the box, plug it in and give it internet, right? But you can also connect to external devices. Uh, these are compatible with, with Windows, Mac, Chromebook, um, as well as Linux even, so like Raspberry Pi if, if you wanted to. And all the drivers are, are native to Windows uh, and Mac for that matter. So you just uh, connect the board and, you know, it spins for a second and says configuring your device and within a couple seconds it just works. There's no calibration, no nothing. And uh, here you can see I'm connected to a Windows 10 uh, laptop, could be a desktop, you know, whatever you want to use. Uh, and really the sky's kind of the limit. I mean, here I'm using this 3D anatomy software and your finger becomes the mouse essentially. There is a third uh, mode of use, which is a slot in PC. Uh, we sell two different slot. We sell an i5 and an i7 card PC that slot into the side of the unit. And once you install those, you're basically turned it into a giant Windows 10 all in one. And as you can see, you can use the systems together. So if I want to go into the Android and just play a video or, you know, use the apps or whatever I want to do, then I want to, you know, simultaneously or just, you know, in the next second, jump back over to my PC. You can have multiple devices connected at once. Um, there is some really good built-in USB switching capability. So, so there are two separate touch inputs and anything else that's connected to the board gets routed to those touch inputs or to the touch outputs when the appropriate input is selected. I know that's kind of a lot probably, you know, flies over your head, but um, the benefit is you can have a webcam on top of the board, USB to the board. That webcam is accessible to the apps on the board, and it's also accessible to any computers that you connect to the board. So you can have one webcam that depending on what you're doing is automatically switched between the board and external computers. So and that's Rose. a really handy feature. Roland, since you're on the PC functionality right now, there was a question that did come in with regards to being able to use your mouse as well as the pen feature. And yeah, you, you can't do that, correct? No, you can use you can use a mouse. I mean, I can go over here to my laptop that's off screen here. And here, where is my mouse? There's my mouse. I'm controlling it from the trackpad on the I'm control, you know, yeah, if you you know, if it's a laptop, I can go, which this is, in this case, I'm using a laptop. I can go to my trackpad and the mouse still works. Right. Um, so if you have an case, external, go ahead. We're, we're using both, we're showing, Roland's showing a PC of functionality. And then of course there's a limited Android application. Can you just really quickly just refresh everybody as far as why is it a limited app, an Android system? And that, Yes, that is, sure, that's a, that's, that, that's a good question and something, uh, that we do need to talk about. So uh, there is no touch board in the world um, that is licensed for the full Google Play Store. So all of our competitors, everybody's in the same boat. None of these boards offer the full Google Play Store. It's just uh, Google just licenses it that way. Um, they only, to get the full Google Play Store, it has to be a phone or a tablet. Full-size touch board, one does not exist that runs the full Google Play Store. Um, so what you're really looking at, we say it's an Android operating system. It's an Android based proprietary operating system. 
and only certain apps that we make available, you know, and, and that's industry wide. Everybody's in the same boat. The simple answer, if, if you're if you're working with a Google school or somebody that wants the full Google Play Store and the full package, your best bet is to connect a Chrome box, connect a Chrome computer, whether it's a Chromebook, Chrome box, you know, they're inexpensive. Bytespeed can help you with those. Um, and then you get the full world of Google and all the all the apps that come with that, you know, because there are apps you cannot run on these, but uh, everybody's in the same boat. There are no boards you can you can run them on without an additional device like a, a Chromebook, which thankfully these days they're inexpensive. So does that answer that question? Or anything to add, gentlemen? No, that was pretty good. A couple more questions to run through can you have half the board the panel be whiteboard and the other half hdmi absolutely input? so if we open uh here if i just go here ah not hd you can you can run apps side by side i can have half the i can have half of my board uh, let's get rid of that i can have half my board board you know and the other half be something else here. I'm just picking something at random. Like this could be a, a word document, but um, you, you know, you can do split screen apps, but you can't do split screen picture in picture. Yeah. They were thinking more like an HDMI video on one side and then well, annotating on the other. Well, that being said, you know, if you want to do that, the best thing to do is just use the computer and, and use, you know, there are plenty of whiteboard programs. Like here I am, here I am in the windows whiteboard. Here, here's half whiteboard. Uh, let me just find my pen again. Like here I am in my in my 3D anatomy software, and here I am in a whiteboard, and I'm just doing that with two Windows programs. Okay. Do we have a web browser built in? There is a web browser built in. So it's uh, it, it just says browser, but it's Chrome. It's just not branded as Chrome. Here's here's the web browser. I was looking for some images earlier. Um, it's what you would expect. It's a web browser. Yep, it's built in. Okay. And let me just, uh, so I know we're kind of running out of time. 2.30 was the stop on this call, right? Yes, it was. So just want to point out before we take, I'm, I'm happy to stay for as long as you as you like to, if anybody has more questions, but before anybody leaves, just want to point out that the, the strength of these panels, um, you know, from dealer perspective, as well as customer perspective, uh, the, the biggest two strengths are flexibility and ease of use flexibility in the sense that you've got you've got a lot built in you know you, you've got you've got a bunch of stuff and a bunch of a bunch of functionality right out of the box and once you connect computers the sky's kind of the limit whether you're doing video editing computer drafting simulation games any kind of educational tools like the like the 3d software the sky's the limit there's not much it can't do so very flexible and ease of use um, it's very very simple to, to operate you know we've built in a lot of tools that just make it intuitive to use like small things like for example the buttons on the front um just well thought out you know on the first version of this panel that we launched all that was on the front was a power button we've given you on the front now a home button a back button the settings button which brings up your inputs as well as volume up and volume down so no matter where you are in the panel, if you get lost, you get into some menu. I'm in a menu I shouldn't be in. What do I do? The home button is a physical button right on the front that gets you back to the home screen every time. So just little things like that. Um, the quick draw pen holder, this on the side here on, on the right side of the screen looks like it's a Wi-Fi antenna. This is actually a pen holder. Pulling the pen from the holder launches the digital whiteboard. So for those teachers and people who are you know, sort of afraid or resistant to technology. It's it's as simple as that. We've we've made it as simple as pull the pen and you can start writing on the screen. So just lots of, you know, and from from a dealer perspective as well, there's not much to teach, you know, because people are used to using mobile devices, especially when there are physical home back and volume buttons. It's very easy to just give this to a user and show them a few things in five, 10 minutes, and, and that's it. They'll, they'll have very few questions for you. By the way, we do also offer training. You know, if you sell to a school and they want to have, you know, a session like this to show their teachers how it works, we're happy to do that at no charge. Um, yep, for as many sessions as you want. I can testify that 
the ultimate team is good on their word for that. I suppose um, in case some have to drop off right away, we'll get all the questions answered here. We've got a few, um, but, um, and Todd can speak a little bit to this. The Optima is great availability as you're probably hearing a lot of people with chip shortages and such, but um, they have great availability on their products. And so within like as, as little as four weeks or thereabout, you can get the um, 86 inch and Todd, maybe you can say a few things about that availability. Not sure if you're on mute, Todd. I was on there on mute, yeah. So product availability, uh, as you all are aware, uh, there has been supply chain issues with everything from toothbrushes to, uh, to you know, the gallon of gas to, uh, to panels as well. And uh, due to components and COVID and all those things that's been in the news, and uh, we have a lot of um, containers sitting there in the water. So we are getting product in. We're getting fulfilled on our back orders in November, and then we're also deliveries in December. So that pipeline is filling up, thankfully. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Well, I'll run through the rest of the other questions. Um, does the new Apple laptop with the M1 chip work on the panel? Will it work with docking stations with the laptops? Um, docking stations we have used, like if you want to connect a, like a USB hub, basically, or... Um... Yeah, like a, a USB-C hub, basically, where it takes the one connection from the computer and breaks into HDMI, USB for touch. Yeah, we've used those, not with Apple necessarily, but uh, definitely with Windows. I don't see why it wouldn't work with Apple. Um, as far as a particular Apple computer, I'm not sure what's special about that computer. I mean, the board takes HDMI and a USB connection for touch when you want to connect to an external computer. So... Uh, no reason why it wouldn't work unless you know something we don't. Okay. Uh, can the software convert lessons from SmartBoard? No, not, not per se. However, if you have smart software, number one, if your school already has smart software on a PC, you can just connect the PC to the board and it just works the way it always worked. Right. The other thing you can do, you know, and I'm not super familiar with smart software, but if you can just take your lesson and take a screenshot of every piece that you want, you could easily take that screenshot and add that content into the board and, and work with it that way. So there's a few different options that, you know, if you're working with a school that's already using a learning management system, you know, they can either just keep it, keep those PCs, whatever PC it's running on, connect it to the Optima board, or you can, there's several ways to transfer, basically take those lessons and turn them into PDFs or images, and you can just load the PDFs or images into the, into the note, the digital notepad, digital okay. whiteboard. Is Mac supported and can be connected for HDMI for touchscreen use, like what you described with Windows, and I think we touched on that. Yeah, absolutely. That's a yes. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And then any issues with disk space after some months of use? Uh, any issues with disk space? Uh, no, the only the only issues I would say there's a built-in screen recorder, which is something that I forgot to mention, which is pretty important. Like I said, it's hard to mention every single feature of these boards in a short amount of time, but there's a built-in screen recorder that captures what's going on on screen, as well as any connected cameras. It'll actually create a picture-in-picture -picture very similar to this and it saves it on the board. We have some schools that record a lot of videos and they, they fill up their storage, but the easiest thing to do is just take those, take those videos and transfer them using Google Drive or OneDrive or you know, physical storage. You know, it just takes a little, if, if, if you're recording a ton of videos, then yeah, you're gonna have to shift them off the board, but we've made it very easy to do that, so. That's the only storage issue I've ever heard of was a school that records Tons of videos on a daily basis. Okay. Um, are you able to sign in to Google Identities with your browser? I don't believe so. Uh, no, that's not really an option, and it wouldn't work very well anyway. Because I imagine that what you, what you're trying to do is use Google Draw, uh, Google Docs, uh, Numbers, Sheets, the 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 Google Office products. They don't run very well on any of these boards. Your best bet if you're trying to, to if that's what you want to accomplish, is connect a Chrome box. You okay. know, Chrome PCs are very inexpensive. They start under 200 bucks. 
if, if you're dealing with a, you know, if your customer is a Google school, sell them a Chromebox with the board. Yep, we would be able to help you with that um, if you do decide to take a look at that. Um, how does this work for Zoom class presentations? We have students in and out of class at the same time. Uh, well, there's certainly the built-in Zoom app, but mostly to, to take a step back and just phrase this differently, the built-in Android stuff is great. You know, you've, you've got access to some apps. It can do quite a bit right out of the box. But the truth is 90% of the time, our customers use it connected to PC. They're, they're using it with their, with their Windows 10 or their, their Mac laptops. And you're much better off you're much better off if you want to have a Zoom call running. You're better off, you know, say, say I'm in the classroom. I take my PC, I, I connect it to the board, I start sharing my content, whether it's a program or a slideshow or whatever I'm doing. If you're on a Zoom call with remote students, you just want to take that desktop and share it on the call, you know, and you can even share in a camera. And what you basically get is, is what you're getting from me right now. So you could be at home, you know, on your laptop like you are right now probably, but someone else could be in the room here with me. I just happen to be in my home office, so nobody else is here. So to answer your, I think the best answer, or the best answer to the question I think you're asking um, is, you know, you can use the built-in Zoom app with a camera. It works fine. Um, but I think the reality is you're probably going to connect it to your PC or MacBook and run your content and the Zoom call on that MacBook. Fantastic. Well, th thanks everyone for staying with us a little longer here. I put my uh, contact information in the uh, chat there. I, um, feel free to contact me and I can relay you to the appropriate teams here at Bytespeed. I can loop in the Optima team, whether it's trainings or any further questions you have, product info. We'll yeah. be glad to help you. Um, I suppose before we uh, knock off officially, if there's any more lingering questions, we'd be glad to ask them. If you feel like we didn't really address any other questions, we'd be happy to help too. Uh, we have Roland here. Yeah, the other thing while there's a pause to, for people to enter any final questions, you know, if you have a, a school um, or, you know, you want to show your administrators, we can do a, a, a personal virtual demo for you. Just contact Clever or your Bytespeed rep, and we can set up a call where, you know, we can talk about your specific needs and go through any examples that your customers or, you know, you or your customers are specifically looking for, so. So we're happy to do personal sessions as well if you have more features of the panel. That sounds great. Well, it looks like we might be in good shape, Roland. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, everybody. I think there's, let's see, one more question rolling through here. Yeah, no problem. How much, how much are they? Well, uh, Clever, you and Todd would be better off answering that question. Yeah, um, I, I guess it, it all depends usually on the quantity you're looking at, but um, maybe send me an email, let me know potentially what quantity you might want, and I can go ahead and um, get you some special pricing that, that touches on that. Is there a way you can get a demo for 30 days? They do They do give demos, uh, demo units. It, it, um, it is limited in terms of availability, but we can certainly put you on the list for that and, and keep you informed on when you can get those available. All right, everybody. Well, if there's any more questions, I'll be um, happy to answer them. But if not, thank you very much for your time. And thanks very much to Clever and the rest of the folks at Bytespeed. Yeah, so I think one more parting one here, Samuel is asking if we install. Yes, uh, Samuel, we have a network of installers nationwide and we'd be happy to do that for you as well. The installation piece. So usually whether it's rip and replace or starting from scratch, we'd be happy to help. Fantastic. Well, I think that's it. Thanks for the extra 10 minutes. Uh, thanks, Roland, for all the great information. And I appreciate you all, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks, everyone.